Hi, my name is Tony Talano. We'd like you to come and work with us. We're doing great things. We're reimagining storage. We're doing everything from you know, cloud managed storage, cloud access to storage, enterprise storage. But basically, what we would like to do is we would like to give the same features of cloud-based storage access from anywhere, any device at any time using you know, browsers, phones, tablets. But we'd also like to do that and give a good performance on the local LAN uh, to be able to have all of those applications that really are data hungry, whether they be virtual machine hypervisors or, like I said, vid video editing or CAT scan machines or whatever they are, and that really need to move a lot of data uh, back and forth between storage, you know, transform that data, and then, uh, of course, you know, store it and use it again. There's lots of different companies in the, in the Valley, and I highly recommend that you come to the Valley. The energy that's here is, is second to none in the world. And when I say in the world, I really mean in the world. If you'd like to interview with Exablox, what I recommend is I recommend that you have a, a, an up-to-date resume, and not only your resume, an up-to-date uh, repository. You know, it's uh, sort of one of these things that really differentiates candidates. Some candidates write about, you know, oh, I can write software and I've developed applications. But really, the best thing for you to do for yourself is actually have some examples of that. And I'm not talking about necessarily, you know, you have to go get an internship uh, like you would necessarily be applying for to be able to get an internship that you're applying for. But what I do recommend is that you actually have a Git repository. It has, of course, your work and that you maintain it over time, right? And so it shows a steady progression of your craft. Because really, in reality, writing software is nothing more than like painting a painting, right? Rembrandt wasn't the painter he was uh, when he began that he was when he ended, right? And so your craft will always become better. Whatever level you're at now, you will be better in five years as long as you keep practicing. So here's what to expect if you actually would like to talk with us and, and come and see if you could join our team. You should submit your resume. Someone will contact you and uh, you'll have probably a Skype call or some sort of WebEx sort of meeting. We'll get to know you, you'll get to know us, and we'll, we'll make that first decision whether you're a candidate that, that looks interesting and that we're a fit for you and, and you're a fit for us. And then after that, you would come in and you would meet some of the team. It's really important actually when you create together a product that, that you feel comfortable with your teammates and that they feel comfortable with you. You would come in and we would talk with you and if you decide that you like us and we decide that we like you, you would have a coding challenge. Now it's really not that difficult, I, I don't think, but you know it does require you to do something and to do it with your craft, right? Uh, it just gives, your, gives us a, a way of, of seeing how you work. And uh, what I highly recommend is that you do, uh, you know, the, the right things that you should be doing anyway, which are, you know, writing good, clean code, uh, testing your code, doing some documentation before you hand it off to someone. And that doesn't have to be like a, a book, it, but it does need to be, if it's, it needs to be installed, you know, what are the requirements, maybe a requirements uh, file that would actually load the dependencies. These sorts of things really go a long way. And then after the, the coding challenge, of course, there would be another round of discussions. Uh, and then you could come here. On the technical interview process, it really depends on which role or position that you're actually applying for. The two main teams that we have working are a cloud platform uh, team that uh, is, is used to manage and provision storage that would be on the customer's premise, as well as our file system team. And so let's just take those two as an example. In a interview that would be focused on the cloud platform, if you're going to, let's say, be working on the back end or even on the front end, uh, you would want to know, you know, what is a REST API. You would want to know, you know, how are you know, single page apps with uh, JavaScript and CSS, how, how do they work? Where is the model of the data kept when it's in a single page app, you know, in the view model? You would want to be able to accurately describe that in a diagram as well using a whiteboard. Whiteboarding is really a key way where you can actually discuss things where you know, you can just erase and, and dr draw the future, right? You're just dreaming on a whiteboard, really. Or you're describing what has happened in the past. Either way, I highly recommend that when you walk in, um, that you've thought a little bit about the position and a little bit about what you've already done 
that applies to that position and be ready to actually describe it. And if you can describe it in, let's say, five minutes on a whiteboard, I think you're, you're, you're definitely in the right direction. If we look more at like the file system team, now that's a little bit more specific. Of course, you also need to be able to describe what you've done or you know, accurately discuss uh, what you've studied on the whiteboard. Now, it might not be a perfect fit because, of course, uh, one of the things we're doing is we're uh, redoing a uh, file system to make it object-based, not block-based, meaning that we don't use block-based addressing. But if you can generally talk to the basic principles, you'll have a good interview. And if you've, uh, you've looked at any sort of uh, more advanced uh, topics, such as peer-to-peer -peer distribution networks or object-based file systems, that would really be good for you. As I said, we're reinventing storage. We want you to come, be a part of it. We want you to be able to say, hey, you know what? I remember when there wasn't this object-based storage. You know, it was just like everything was block-based storage. And now, you know, let's say that you're 10 years in the future and, and you're looking backward and you're like, now everything is object-based storage. And, I, and you were there and you were at the beginning of it. So come to Exablox, submit your resumes, look at our jobs that are open. We would really love to talk to you and uh, hope to see you soon.